So how do you actually prepare for the inspection? So the best way to prepare for an inspection is to make sure that the business has up-to-date employment records required by law available on the day of the inspection. So if you do have contracts of employment, make sure employees um, have received these contracts of employment. If you do have um, uh, timesheets, make sure these timesheets um, have been uh, printed or you have it in a format that the inspector can review and these timesheets have been signed by the employees. If you have uh, policies and procedures, they will also be looking for specific policies and procedures in terms of bullying, harassment, uh, grievances, disciplinary rules and procedures. So make sure you have these up to date according to the most recent employment legislation. So if you have Peninsula in place, we would normally go through that with yourself. So an employer is required by law to keep records of working hours for a minimum of three years and other documents may have to be kept on for longer depending on the legislation to which it actually relates to. So um, for example, if you have timesheets, you have to make sure you keep that for three years. Any contracts of employment, you have to make sure you do keep that in place for at least a year. So um, when the inspectors come in, they normally will ask you for uh, documents or information for employees who have been in your company for the last 12 months. So you have to make sure you have the, these details. So it will not be sufficient to say that, well, this employee left six months ago, so I don't have their documents. So in that case, you will be breaching um, the employment legislation, as in that you are not keeping records of your employees.